Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. This one was submitted by Pietato, where they said that this was one of their favourite um, killer deductions, and um, I'm a bit of a fan of this one myself. When I see this in a, a killer um, killer puzzle, I'm it's always a nice deduction. So hopefully you'll figure this one. The rules on this one are quite simple. Of course, you need to find the digit that goes into the cell marked with an X, um, and this is killer. So digits um, placed in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage and digits cannot repeat within cages. So there's a link to the problem below where you can try um, try this one for yourself. Maybe you can do this one in your head. Um, so I'm going to give you a few seconds and then I'll come back and explain this one. Feel free to pause the video. Okay, I really like this sort of deduction because um, the way this one works is the cages have to bounce off each other. So the first thing we want to look at is this seven cage. So a seven cage can only be made up a couple of different or three different ways, but we can't use the one. So um, you can't use one six in this seven cage. So it can only be made up of two five or three four. They're the only ways you can make it up. But this two means that this cannot be a two. So if this can't be a two, this can't be a five. So you end up with these are the possibilities of the seven cage. But now you've got this 12 cage down here that we need to try and figure out something about. Now, in this 12 cage, we can't use a 2 because this 2 sees the whole 12 cage. So that means the options 237 and 246 just don't work, as well as 129. Um, so the options that are left in this cage are quite limited. But what we now need to think about is without a 2, we can't use the only other option that doesn't use a 1, which is 3, 4, 5. Because if we don't, 3, 4, 5 itself sums to 12. Three, four, uh, 4 and 5 is 9, add 3, you get to 12. So 3, 4, 5 are the minimum digits if you don't use a 1 or a 2. We can't use a 2. 3, 4, 5 sums to 12. But we can't use 3, 4, 5 in this 12 cage. Because if we use 3, 4, 5 in this 12 cage, there is nothing we can place in that cell right there to make this 7 cage work. Because this 7 cage requires a 3, 4, 5 there because of this 1 and this 2. So this 7 cage is eliminating 3, 4, 5 as an option from this 12 cage. Now, this 12 cage must have a 1 in it, because without a 1 in this 12 cage now, we would need to either put a 2 or a 3 into this, or we'd need to put a 2 into it, or use 3, 4, 5, and we can't use 3, 4, 5. So we must put a 1 in this 12 cage now, and this 1 means we can't put it into those two cells, and this becomes a 1, which is the solution to this problem. I really love this sort of deduction where you're getting pressure from a cell with multiple possible options, but those options are one of the possible um, complete sets for a cage, and that knocks that out. Very, very, it's not a, I, I wouldn't say it's common, but it is a, a killer deduction that you see often, but it's you don't see it in every puzzle. Um, you probably don't even see it in most, but or even half. But it is, when you come across it, it's like, ah, it's one of those. Very important deduction and very important to trick to have in your arsenal for when you're attacking killer, um, killer puzzles. So hopefully you enjoyed that one. Um, if you've never seen that one before, hopefully you learned something. Um, thank you, Pietardo, for sending that one through. Again, I'm sorry if I pronounced that one wrong. Um, hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.